Now let's move on to two other things to finish off. The next one is if you have an iPhone or a Blackberry and you cruise the internet, you can make ICI World a, a little app on your iPhone or Blackberry. And that's the address on the screen. You can write that down now. Oh, if you want uh, an app, there's a, an app for the, for the Toronto Star. Sorry, right there. If you want uh, to, to read the news, I read the news on my iPhone a lot of times. You know, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, I know it's crazy, and I just can't go back to sleep. I'll just click on the headlines and see what's kind of going on in the world today. Keeps me plugged in without having to read the whole newspaper. Okay, uh, icirworld.net slash BB stands for BlackBerry. This will work also uh, with an iPhone, this, this particular link. Now, if you have, say, you're looking, you have a buyer for apartment buildings, you can make apartment buildings a link right on your iPhone so that you can click on it in the middle of the day and say, oh, bingo, somebody just had an apartment building. I should give that person a call, hop in the car, go show it, bingo. You get a jump showing that building before anybody else even sees it. So that's what this thing, I call it information at your fingertips. And that's what these things can do. And you just get your iPhone or BlackBerry in front of you, and right after the session, we can actually show you how to get that application loaded right onto your it's basically a favorite is really all it is. You just kind of add a favorite uh, to your little desktop on your iPhone or BlackBerry. 